Hey, what's up, YouTubers? So if uh, you saw my last videos, like probably two videos ago, I took these out um, of their packages because I had a tote that was like nasty. Um, go back and check that out, you should see it. But anyway, I wanted to show you, I took the loose cars and put them in these nifty packages. These are the, like these uh, um, plastic cases. I get these off of eBay. Um, these aren't cheap. They're probably like, uh, they run about a dollar a piece these packages and they're not local you get them like they come from China so it takes a little while to get them but they really are worth it let me show you real quick that's my Lamborghini but the package itself they're really um, good quality so yeah I just want to show you that I do keep these in these little nice packages these little cases really stout see 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 my buddy likes this one what do you think looks good in there huh Elb yeah. all right looks good in there got the Camaro in there the Pagani's in there and they look good inside there don't they it's like they deserve to be in there and then I had this old Pantera kicking around so I threw it in there. I had an extra one of these boxes kicking around. Yeah, but they don't give them away, like I said. Okay, so let's get on to the real thing that I wanted to show you guys. Had this kicking around for a long time. The old Aurora cigar box. Now I went online to see what year this possibly could be and I completely forgot. <clears throat> I, I don't remember. Let's flip it over. I'm gonna have to uh, put a text across the uh, screen here because I, I I don't even remember. I looked it up, but I don't remember. Let's check it out though. Let's open it up. And this is the Ford, as you can see, GT. They put a convenient sticker here, number 6105. And I remember I got this off eBay long ago. Let's check it out, let's open it up. Isn't that nice? Now, Aurora, they do the slot cars. They had been doing the slot cars for a long time. So this body, you know, it's probably um, comes from the same molding as one of the slot cars, but it's got these skinny rubber tires. And there it says Aurora on the bottom. Oh, forgive me for my grubby hands. Today, I was watching that show Forged in Fire. I was, I was binge, binge watching. And I got really inspired. So I went out into my garage and realized I don't have a forge. So I, instead I went out and did like some gardening. Yeah. But anyway, um, so it's got a nice metal base on it. Nice rivets. And it says cigar box. You know, so they were probably, uh, you know, like a buddy of mine said, you know, they were probably um, thinking along the lines of matchbox, kind of competing with them. These were a lot more expensive. And uh, yeah, it's got a really cool, check out the uh, the steering column, how long that is. But I thought it was pretty cool and it's a really nice, nice model. And so what I did was I pulled out the Matchbox version that I have. This I found is from 65 to 1970. So check that out. So here's the Matchbox version. Also has a metal base on it. Now this should have um, a blue stripe running down with I believe the number six on it, but it, and it was just a sticker, but it's missing. But other than that, there's like this weird stain on the side. I did try to get that off, it didn't come off. But yeah, Matchbox did a great job on these. And it's got the two-piece wheels on it. So here's the Matchbox version. So I wanted to hold them side by side and they're pretty close. Matchbox is a little bit bigger. Now I know that the scales are a little different, but um, Matchbox is a little heavier, probably due to the size, but you could tell that the metal is a little bit more stout on the Matchbox. But 
Yeah, I just want to do a cool side-by-side -side comparison. I thought they were pretty cool. Uh, this is one of my favorite matchboxes that I do have. But I also like this too. I also always loved the cigar box box that they put these in. All right, let's put this back in here. It's not in the most perfect condition, but you know, here it says, it's got the specs on it. Die cast chassis, aluminum wheels, discs, rubber tires, spring suspension. Hey, let's check that out. Oh yeah, it does. That works good. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's put that back in there. And we'll put the little plastic dome back on. And there you have it. Close that up. All right, guys. Like I said, this was just a quick one. I wanted to show you this. All right. So I will see you in the next one. So thanks for stopping by. See ya.